Jenkins. Hi, everybody, and welcome for this new Jenkins infrastructure meeting. Um, today, to the agenda, what we have, we have a small uh, topic about repo.jenkinsia.org. We have a topic about update center issues we faced last week some updates on the Docker image build that Damien is working on at the moment and a quick update on the puppet, puppet code that I'm currently updating. Um, so we don't have a lot of topic, which is great, and it means that it won't take too long. Um, the first one, repo.jenkins.org. Uh, so we still we are still affected by a few issues. So as a reminder, we noticed that since the 24th of June, GFrog um, did an upgrade of the service um, and, and we were affected in the way we were we are using it. So we were not able to copy artifacts from between Maven repositories. That affected us when we did the security updates. Uh, Two weeks ago now. Um, so we had to put in place a temporary Maven repository as um, we, we could not update the, um, the, 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 the official release uh, Maven repository, the production one. So we put in place a virtual Maven repository where we would be able to fetch packages either from the security one and from the production one. So we are still affected by that issue. So I opened a support ticket on GFrog um, yesterday. I was in contact with them today, and now I'm waiting for um, feedback from from them. So that's still an ongoing issue. So until then, until we have, until we better identify what's the problem here, we still have to to use that fallback Maven repository. So that um, has several consequences. So every tools that fetch Jenkins.war from the production Maven repository does not work at the moment. And so we have to override with uh, a temporary one. And so I don't know if I can quickly show you. Yeah, um, if you have issues using the production Maven repository, feel free to ask and I'll give you the temporary URL. So that's it. Um, any question? No, sounds good. So I can continue. So last week we had an issue with the update center. Um, so because so we 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 easily cache artifacts, and what happened from time to time is if we try to download um, a plugin, and that plugin return a four four errors, um, we cache that that errors. And so what 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 happened last week is we try. To, to fetch metadata from plugins um, that were officially there, um, but because um, we add some cache containing the 404 um, answer, HTTP answer, um, the update center job was failing. And because we are using um, a temporary Maven repository, so the, the fallback that I just explained, um, we were modifying the wrong uh, of the center conf configuration. So Daniel um, came back. I was available at the beginning of the week, yesterday, in fact. Um, quickly identified issues, solved that. Um, what was important for us is we forgot the, um, the Maven, repos Maven repository issue. So until we have a fix for that, we have to keep in mind that uh, we are not using the production one. The next topic is about building um, is building the core images for multiple architectures. That's something that Damien is working on at the moment. So maybe Damien, you want to share more with us? Yes. Um, so, uh, so let me take back. So there are two topics here. Uh, the first one is a, a pull request that has been just uh, switched uh, by Mark Waite to ready for review. That's a pull request that team started and I work with him uh, collaboratively. The goal of that pull request initially was to, to make the build faster. And what it underlined is that um, we were building and testing all the Linux images on the same machine. And we have the same issue on Windows. That's why most of our builds are really, really slow because only one Docker engine, uh, sometimes it's on a big machine on a high memory, so it works very well. Sometimes it's on a, on a smaller one. 
So not, not only it's prone to uh, instability, but it's a big constraint. So the pull request not only parallelize the test uh, harnesses, so you can run one test at one time on one CPU core, uh, even two per CPU core because most of network bound. So it go, it's going faster, but also we change the pipeline. So now you we spawn one machine for one Linux platform. So you have one agent that builds Alpine Linux and tests Alpine Linux, another agent in parallel that builds CentOS and tests CentOS, etc. Windows is not part of that. So why mentioning this here? It's because a lot of the pull requests on the official Docker image are suffering from instabilities during the build. Most of the time, what is happening is that all of these images built at the same time until the new pull request is merged are triggering out of memory error on the kernel of the agents. So you see on the build log a cancel event. And this happened on the cases where you, were, you are not using high memory machine. You have an OM most of the time, unless you split the platforms. And secondly, on the high memory machines, Sometimes if the machine has been used for builds before on CI, you, can, you start seeing GNLP agent disconnecting because the CPU is completely used at 100%. So that's the first uh, work we did. So I hope that parallelizing on multiple agent and the test should be good. In terms of timing, the slower test is now, test harness is now taking two minutes and a half instead of five to 30 minutes. So that's uh, twice to five times faster, which is really good. Uh, Windows is the next step. Second topic, I'm gonna start working on this one. It will be building the multi-arc images to be able to provide uh, build and publication of IRM, PPC, and S, uh, I IBM Z uh, CPU architectures. So I'm still reading what Tim did on the previous days. So I'm still handing over. Uh, my goal is to be able to run safely this workload. Uh, more is coming on that. We should, we will, we are, we have an issue on the GitHub repository with the details. Just, just one question. So do you mean that the uh, add multi-arch build, which is, so that PR is in draft mode at the moment. Is it the one mm -hmm. that is almost ready? Um, yes, yeah, so we split the work on multiple pull requests. Some have already been merged. Okay. Uh, one is we started, we are, we are already using Docker Bake. That's a way to specify the collection of images on a file in HCL language. And we use Docker build X bake command that allows to define things that were only available on the pipeline uh, until right now. And it will open the multi-architecture in parallel at the same time. But we are still we are still searching the way to do it. Uh, we can use Kemu for building at least. Um, that one is quite easy and should work. That means you only require a machine with Intel. But we have IRM machines, and we have the issue of machines between CI and trusted. We in that case we have different security issues related to the sharing these machines because these are let's say. We don't have a lot, we have one or two max. So the pull yeah. request, uh, multi, uh, publish multi-arc from team in draft is about that system being able to build and publish both. Uh, yeah. Does, does it answer more. your question? Yes, thanks. Interested. Um, yeah, thanks a lot. Um, last topic, which is on my side. So I'm currently doing some Puppet updates. So I started one PR containing um, many different small updates. It's kind of, I mean, difficult because we haven't updated the Puppet code for a while. And so it's like each time you upgrade something, it has consequences on a third module. So the PR is here. Oh, yeah, it was working. So yeah, that's if you if you want to do some puppet code and you are available, feel free to join the party. Um, so the the initial reason why I started working on that was to redeploy archive the Jenkins.io, but it's like um, 
I need to update the Let's Encrypt module. And because I have created the Let's Encrypt module, I, I need to upgrade other modules and so on. So that's that's what I'm currently working on. I, I hope to have something finished for the coming days. But yeah, the final goal is still to move and to close the Rackspace account. Alika, do you have any question or do you want to bring anything in the topic? I think we cover all the topic that we that we initially had. Just one I want to add with, about Aditya. We need to sync Aditya you and I to remove in production the Nexus on the release namespace, right? Yes. So I'll switch the discussion on IRC or in private uh, with you to sync okay. when we want to plan this and we will I will publish a, a mention be, uh, in IRC before when we will have selected a time slot. Okay. Okay. On my side, I, I, yeah. do you have anything to add, Aditya? Oh, uh, I actually wanted to ask one question. So uh, I ha I'm facing this error. So I just wanted to know whether this is due to the artifact outage or uh, like the JFROC uh, thing. Is it because of that? So which so which error do you get? Um, uh, so yeah, it's yeah, 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 yeah. You, you put it in the, the chat, so I'm chat, just opening, yeah. it, uh, opening it here. So so you can see in the book. I hope that so um, authorization failed. Now that means that you don't have the right um, username and password to push. Okay. So, so this actually, one, this one, yeah, this one is uh, a yeah. four, four, three, four billion. So um, I can help you. Um, so it, you, yeah, it just means that you don't don't have. So the GitHub action doesn't have the right uh, username and password to push to Maven repository. Um, we can debug that together. Oops. Okay. 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 Garrett made that pull request, so I think, uh, and he's the owner of this repository, I think. So maybe we can put in some GitHub, secrets in GitHub or something like that. Yes, I just have, because I'm not sure that I have permission on that one to, to uh, yes, it sounds like I do have some permission. So yep, I should be able to help Maven token. Oh, there is a Maven token updated five minutes ago. I have a username. So yeah, it's definitely an issue with the credentials. So another option maybe is, so is, is it your credential? Uh, no, no, I, I don't have the access to put in credentials. Um, repository. Um, so when we want to add, um, when we need to grant access to someone to push to, um, to Maven, so repository. What's the name? Repository permission updater. So we just have to, to be sure that the username who pushed um, the artifact has the right permission. So we just have to put, to list him in the right. So kind of an, oops, what? Conventional commits. So that was updated two months ago. And who can push here? Okay, so okay, sounds like I can push to the git trip to the to the Maven. Okay, um, we just have to double check who, I mean, which credential was used here. Okay. But we can we can we can debug that together. Okay. After the... yeah. Um, I have one last topic that I would like to bring is I won't be available next week. So I would like to just consult next week infrastructure meeting. Okay, unless you want me to drive it, if it's, it depends. Oh, or you could drive it. Um, if you are available, let's then let's, mm -hmm. if you are, if you are available, then yeah, let's. You can drive the meeting. That's fine. Then perfect. Um, okay. So you have we have someone to, to drive the next week meeting. Awesome. Thank so you. don't need to don't don't have to, to, to cancel it. Then I think we cover all the points. So thanks for your time. Enjoy the rest of the day, and um, see you on RC. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you.